For much of your academic work, you will be required to use library databases. These databases work a little differently from search engines like Google, so this video will cover some strategies for using library databases effectively. These days, we are all pretty good at searching the internet, and we can use Google to find just about anything. Reviews of our favorite TV shows, the latest weather report, or biographical information about a famous person, all in just minutes. We know how to do this because it's so easy. Put in a few keywords, and in seconds we have exactly what we need. But being a good Google user doesn't mean you can easily search the resources needed for your academic work. Resources like databases and library search tools. And if your instructor says you need scholarly sources, Google's not going to help you much. That's because library databases work differently than search engines like Google. Using a database means you're going to have to spend some time thinking about how and what you're going to search. That's your search strategy, and coming up with one can save you a lot of time and effort. One study found that students with a good search strategy spent 50% less time searching for sources than students who just put in a few random words. Students that use a search strategy think about the words they're going to use and the words they aren't going to use and how they're going to put them together. Let's say you've decided to write a paper on this question. How does being bilingual affect children's brains? You can take the path of least resistance and copy and paste the question itself into a library database, but that will most likely give you poor results. Or you could take a few minutes and come up with a search strategy. Let's give it a try. First, we want to pick out only those words that are directly related to our research question and eliminate the ones that are not going to help us much. How, does, and being are not words specific to our research question, so we're not going to use them. What about effect? It could help, but it could also appear in a lot of information not directly related to our question, so let's eliminate it for now. That leaves us with three great keywords, bilingual, children, and brain. Now we're ready to put those words together. Unlike Google, which places an invisible and between all your keywords, in many library databases, you must add the word and between your keywords. So we need to change bilingual children brain to bilingual and children and brain. So we're done, right? Not so fast. Library databases also use another important word to combine key terms, and that word is the magical or. Or can add so much to your search. As you know, there are many different terms you can use for the same idea or concept. You can use or to include those other words, words like synonyms, related words, and examples. So for the word children, we could also use the words child, kid, and childhood. And for brain, we could also use a related word like cognitive. Now we need to put these together with our other words. Library databases do this with the use of or and parentheses. Anytime you use an or, you want to make sure you nest the related words in parentheses. In this example, you are telling the database to look for resources that include the word bilingual and the word children or childhood, plus the word brain or cognitive. This will produce results like this one, that definitely include the word bilingual, and either the word children or childhood, and either brain or cognitive. There really is no limit to how many words you can use. For example, bilingual and children or childhood and brain or cognitive or memory or learning. So next time you need to use a library database, save yourself time, effort, and frustration by following these steps. Enter only those words that are directly related to concepts in your research question. Eliminate words that are not relevant. Come up with synonyms and other words related to your keywords. Put them together with ands and ors. This will give you results that are much more relevant than if you just pasted the question into the search box.